Welcome back. Are you ready for today's lesson? Brilliant. Well, let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do today is um, squidgy letters. So you might want to have a pen and paper ready or somebody beside you to have pen and paper. And then we are going to do Where is Bear? Part two. And again, like last time, we're going to do it talking first. And then we're going to use the same pictures to do some sentence building. Ba -da -dum -da -dum. Before we say, Goodbye. Okay. So I have got three different letters in my bag and I'm gonna pull them out one at a time and we are gonna think about the name of the letter, the sound of the letter, we're gonna think of a word and then we're gonna have a go at writing the letter. And you can either do that on a pen and paper or you can do it in the air or and maybe you can even find it on your Chromebook or on your tablets, whatever you're using at home to do some electronic work. Okay, so I'm going to get this board ready so we can see the letters nice and clear. So the first letter I'm diving in. Okay. Hmm. What's that letter? Its name is A. The name of the letter is A. The sound is A. The sound of the letter is A. Can you think of a word beginning with A? Here are some pictures to help you out. Shall we have a go at writing it? Okay. So, I'm going to start at the top, come all the way round. That was actually a really bad letter. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> start at the top, round and down and flick. If you're having somebody to help you, perhaps they could write it first. And then you could go over the top. Right, let's do another one. Going back into the bag. Mm. What's the name of this letter? The name of the letter is N. The sound of the letter is mm. Mm. Can you think of a word beginning with N? Here are some choices to help you out. Shall we have a go at writing it? So I go top to bottom, up the same way, and then make a turn and over. If somebody's helping you, oops, you can go over the top. N. There's one more letter in my bag. Have a look what it is. Ooh, green again. Hmm. What's the name of this letter? I. What sound does it make? I. The sound of the letter is I. Can you think of a word 
beginning with I or I. Shall we have a go at writing it? Okay, so our pen is on the top, on the page. We go down and flick, take our pen off, and then do a dot above. Shall I do that bigger? Down and flick, pen off, go back and do a dot at the top. If somebody's helping you, you can go over the top. And you can write these letters as many times as you like. I. Squidgy Letters has finished. So now we're going to think about where is Ben. Now, we did very well last week. I've got three new pictures and I've chosen them specifically because where Bear is, is different countries. So that's what we're going to be thinking about today is the countries that Bear is in. Okay, so don't worry, like before, I will make them bigger. And just to remind us, we should be very good now. Our who is orange and then our where is blue. So the character or who we're talking about is first and then where they are. And the last time we did this, we talked about him being outside or underwater. And I can't remember where else, at the beach. So all of our answers today for where are going to be different countries. Now you might need to do some extra thinking about this one this week. Okay, so let's see our first picture. So, where is Bear? Now, you might need to have some extra information that Bear is standing in front of something called the Eiffel Tower. Now, the Eiffel Tower is only in one country in the world. Do you know the country? The Eiffel Tower, France. So the country that Bear is in is in France. So Bear is in France. Let's do another one. What about this one? Where is Bear? Hmm. Do you recognize anything in the picture? Those triangles have got a special name. Do you know what they're called? Pyramids. Now the pyramids are only in one country in the world. Do you know that country? Egypt. So Bear is in Egypt. Wow. Do you think Egypt is a hot country or a cold country? Hmm. Something to look at maybe after the lesson. Our last picture for Bear can have a few answers. So you're gonna have to think about what Bear is doing. So Bear is skiing. Now, there are many countries in the world where you can go skiing. So you can choose your country for skiing, but they need to be a country that does skiing. So you wouldn't put Egypt for your choice of skiing for this one. It would need to be a cold country or somewhere with mountains. And I'm actually going to choose Canada for my sentence. So for me, Bear is in Canada, but you can choose a different country if you want to write a different answer. And you'll have to find out which other countries you can go skiing in. Mm. So those are our three pictures. So where is Bear? 
has finished. So we're now going to do some sentence building. And remember the order of our sentences. It's our orange one first for who and blue is next for where. Now, as like last time, I've actually created three different sets of sentences and you can do these however you, however you um, want to. Okay, so if we take this picture first, the one where he's at the Eiffel Tower, do you remember which country? Bear is in France. So I have actually got Bear is in, and the only thing I need to match with that is the word France. Now, all of your sentences might be just the countries that you have to match. Or you can split the sentences up like I'm going to show you now. So you might decide that you've got two halves of the sentence. Bear is, and then all of your wares are together in Egypt. So that's two halves of the sentences and you've got to build them together. Bear is in Egypt. Or, to make it a little bit difficult again, I have got all of the words in my sentence chopped up. So I've got Canada here. I've got the word in, is, and bear. And now what I've got to do is I've got to build that sentence so it makes sense. So does that make sense? Bear Canada is in. Hmm, I don't think so. Let's have a little rejig. Bear is Canada in. No. One more rejig. Bear is in Canada. I've got it. That's my sentence. So if you're building sentences with pieces of paper, that's how you can do that. Or you could be writing your own version with a pen and paper. Or typing it, if you're up to typing, that's also good as well. But um, you don't have to have different colour paper either. The different colour paper obviously makes it a little bit easier if you were given all of the words at once. But if you wanted to make it a little bit harder, they could all be on the same colour piece of paper. Um, so yeah, that sentence building has finished. So all that's left to say is goodbye. So you can look at some of those countries on YouTube, have a look at the pyramids on YouTube, have a look at the Eiffel Tower on YouTube, or you can even Google somebody skiing on YouTube. Maybe you've done it yourselves or been to these places yourselves. Thank you for watching and I will see you again tomorrow.